I use this cheese blend here. You're gonna place it all over your breakfast dish just like that. Now you're gonna get some ham, perfect. Beautiful. Now you're gonna get some turkey sausage. We're going fast here, so follow along. This is an updated recipe list of my last recipe because you guys said, why'd you add frozen peas to it or stuff like that? Some turkey sausage, so we're gonna keep it all traditional breakfast, bacon, and you're just gonna get some croissants. You can get them anywhere. I recommend getting them from like a cheap store like Costco in bulk, 12 for $6. That's absolutely insane. So eggs, right? Season your eggs. Black pepper. Let me see, show you, you guys can see it. Black pepper. And we're gonna use this garlic salt blend. That's it. We're gonna add a little salt in there. Perfect. Make sure you season your food really well. We're gonna add some whole milk, okay? A splash here to make the eggs creamier and more fluffy. That's what we do here. Better than ever. And then I'll start mixing your eggs up. Get them really nice and mixed. The milk really makes the egg creamier, guys, trust me. That's what all the chefs do to make the perfect like fluffy scrambles and stuff like that. Just make sure you beat it and the colors here go back to yellow. Beautiful. Look at that. All mixed up. Now we're just gonna pour this over our dish here. Make sure you wanna go even. I use six eggs. You wanna go around town first, then spray the center. There we go. Perfect. Now you want everything to kind of press down gently with the with a fork, but that egg's gotta be nice and fluffy when it all cooks together. We're gonna to set your oven at 350 for 30 minutes so everything's fully cooked. You can even go 20 if you like a little bit more soggy. And lastly, some pepper and a little bit more cheese. Not too much, remember be, less is more sometimes. Perfect. Throw this bad boy into the So this guy is done. I let it cook for wow. 20 to 30 minutes depending on how strong your oven is. But look at the top, look how crispy this is. And this is why I use silicon over metal because look at this. Look how easy this is to take out. So you just wanna be gentle with it. Boom. Mm. And as that's cooling down, let's go make a sauce for it. And one of my favorite sauces for breakfast is sour cream, right? Mm -hmm. Sour cream is a really good tart, creamy thing. And all you do is get your favorite hot sauce. Mm -hmm. So I like this hot sauce. Get some sour cream and you're just gonna Add a couple tablespoons into that. Wow. Yeah, and then get the spoon that you use to scoop the sour cream. You're just gonna keep on mixing that. As that frittata is cooling, and this is gonna make a nice pink, creamy hot sauce that's not even that hot, right? It's just enough tang to cut the balance of this. My friend is gonna come try it with us, right? Oh, and really. as you can see, have you ever seen a sour cream hot sauce before? A sour cream hot sauce? That is the most creative thing I've ever heard in my life. It's a very simple sauce. It's sour cream and hot sauce. I've never heard so of as it. you can see, it's a nice pink Ooh, creamy sauce. It looks like a chipotle. Chipotle, yep. Oh. It's tangy, it's zesty, but it's not heavy because sour cream is what? Heavy. Very bad. Very, very, very light. It's very light. 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 It's fluffy yeah. and, it, and so it cuts through the heat. So if you want more, you can add more, but that's a perfect amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All you need to do is add some pepper to it. Don't forget the pepper. Never, ever, ever. A good amount of pepper mm -hmm. for some nice little bite. Ooh. Now it looks like raisin cane sauce, if you think about it. Dude, this is probably their secret recipe. Yeah. Sour cream and hot sauce is not raisin cane recipe. Or you can go the simple way is ketchup. Ketchup. I use organic ketchup. ketchup. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what ketchup you use. All ketchup's the same. Okay? That's true. It's all the same. Yeah. Heinz, whatever. Ketchup well, I, 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 think, I think Heinz is a little bit The better. old, The old ketchup. <laughs> the old ketchup packets in your closet that you have. Hey, those, those are good. I'm ones. Asian. I, I have those. those. I collect those. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, the sauce is ready. 
that's ready. All we want to do when this cools down a tad bit is get some chives and go right on top of that boy. Chive it up. Chive it up. Perfect. Even a little bit more. Then we're going to add some black pepper. Mm. Perfect. And now? Perfectly seasoned. Seasoned. Okay. Perfectly okay. seasoned. Now, oh yeah, I forgot. You add a little bit of chives into your sauce. You ever see those fancy food commercials? Oh, this is exactly what it looks like. Why, yeah. Why do they have greens in their sauce? Even though there's <laughs> no greens in their sauce. It just makes it look pretty. Look at it that. looks, yeah, it looks yeah. really nice though. Look at that. It makes it look prettier. Mm -hmm. Even though it has no, basically any flavor, but <laughs> it makes it look prettier. Uh -huh. So I'm going to slice it in quarters, like a pie, like a pizza. Mm -hmm. You want to use a serrated blade instead of a regular flat blade. Wait. Why? Because yeah. there's croissant dough in here. Croissant dough or croissant bread is bread. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't you use a dull. You can't use a regular knife to cut bread. Mm -hmm. You gotta use a serrated dagger. Mm -hmm. blade. Squish it. Yeah, you don't want to squish it. You want to keep everything intact. Look at that. Let the blade do the work. It's like a saw. Mm. Perfect. Oh, and I love that little sausage piece right there. Yeah. See that top? See how easy this guy's going through? Mm. And I cooked him. So the eggs are a tad runny, okay? Oh, so like a over, like a over easy, like, like a over easy. See that? Oh. So no one can say it looks dry. It doesn't. It looks moist. Because it's super moist. Look at that. Wow. Oh, that. that steam too. The oh steam, my goodness! That you can hot, see the layers. It's nice and spongy. Tell me that's not. Does that look dry to you? No, that's fluffy, light and fluffy. Light, fluffy. It's because of the milk. Mhm. Mm I thought it was crazy too, adding milk to eggs, but adding milk to eggs makes it fluffier. Wow. I learned that from Gordon Ramsay. Ooh. My man. My man. So as you can see, crispy on top, a lot of protein. I adjusted the recipe. There's no vegetables, croissant dough, nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. And let's give it a try, right? Just right the on sauce, there. look at that. Mm-hmm. Look how beautiful it is. Wow. One bite, everyone knows the rules. How is it? Oh, Lord. This is the best thing for breakfast. It's hearty, high in protein, buttery with the croissant dough, and the sauce cuts all of that fat. Mm. It makes it nice and tangy. It's like a perfect balance of, mm. you can keep on eating this forever. Wow. Give it a try. Let me know how it tastes.